Um, sometimes college was made more difficult by just the dedication that athletics demands, right? Um, but some of the difficult was also made really mundane by athletics. Athletes don't have to worry about who they eat dinner with. Right? Like, think about that. Like, middle school me would have killed for that. <laughs> Athletes don't have the luxury of procrastination. We have to figure out how to survive here quickly. And we have teammates who can guide us along that way. We don't get on Yik Yak and complain about the bad steps. Right? Like, that's not an issue for us. Like, and, and honestly, athletics teaches us how to be great competitors. And those skills are the exact same skills that are needed for any serious pursuit. Skills like planning, dedication, and abs. And athletics, <laughs> I like to think that athletics training is like resistance training for just real life. Um, but in many ways, it's also made things easier, too, because I have an amazing, amazing track and cross country family um, who has supported me through everything. <laughs> um, they drive me crazy, but they're always there at the end of the day, too. And so, I've, so I had my last race on Sunday. I um, am now a non athletic real person. Three days, three days uh, in, in the real world, and um, uh, I don't know, it, I checked off my last little tick box on my athletic career and kind of failed to make the new tick boxes, you know how postseason works, um, but my, my body's pretty tired from racing, and right now, you know, it feels really nice to wake up late and sleep, in, um, but I'm really going to miss the training. I'm going to miss push, pushing myself to be better, I'm going to miss abstaining from coffee to taper for races. I'm going to miss religiously stopping my competition's times um, and being sober for weeks at a time. But most of all, I'm going to miss the excitement of races, right? I'm going to miss the thrill of competition, and I'm going to miss the thrill of running with scantily clad, fit young men. <laughs> uh, I'll absolutely also miss my feather like spikes, right? The two ounce little spikes that we have, and the ability to eat two pounds of pasta in one sitting. It's going to be a different world. Um, more than any of that, though, I already miss the people. Um, I already miss our conversations and debates on our runs. I already miss our team dinners. I already miss Sinead yelling at me to slow down. Um, I miss our team. Uh, next year I'm gonna miss getting a notification on my phone and saying, what did Max send us now? Or, um, you know, the pride I see when we have incredible performances from our judges and, and the support that I received when I was having a really bad day. Um, I'm going to miss this family that I no longer get to spend two to four hours a day with. And my advice to everyone, which wasn't at all developed through any of this speech, um, is to really treasure the time that you get to spend at Brandeis in athletics around people that you love. Um, take, take the energy and passion that you've developed here beyond Brandeis. Um, cherish your coaches, your teammates, your friends. Cherish these lifelong, these lifelong friends and connections. And as your time will eventually end, I encourage all of you to push yourselves academic, physically, and mentally um, beyond Brandeis. Take the lessons that your sport has taught you and about how to make plans, how to train for excellence, how to be the best version of yourself, and really try and apply them to every element of your life. Whether it's training for a marathon, trying to excel in your career, or binge watching a new TV show, find new and exciting pursuits and pursue them relentlessly with the exact same dedication, focus, and passion you brought down to Gosman every single day. Thank you, and we'll dice roll.